Listen, this is Europe One. How do you hear me? Yeah, uh, I hear you five by five. Yeah, uh, I hear you five by five. Ground control to, to Major Tom. Allo, allo, Thomas Pesquet, ici la Terre. Est-ce que vous m'entendez là-haut? Ground to space. Can you hear me up there? Uh, ici, dans la station spatiale à 450 km. In the space station at 450 km. Do you hear me on land? Est-ce que vous m'entendez sur la Terre? As do you hear me on land? We hear you perfectly well, Major Tom. How are you exactly? Eh bien, écoutez, je suis dans la, well, listen, uh, I'm in the space station, uh, evidently. I'm in the Japanese module. Malheureusement, on a entreposé des scaphandres. I'd like to uh, suggest to you that uh, it's being installed in the Japanese uh, space station. Uh, we're here in, attached to the space model module. Ça fait quasiment deux mois, Thomas, que, que vous tournez environ. Tomorrow, it'll be about two months that you've been uh, orbiting at 450 kilometers. Ça se passe bien? Is everything going well uh, in your life up there? Oui, ça se passe bien. Alors, j'ai des things are going well. I've already uh, had uh, worse. Uh, worse facilities than this to live in as a student. Pour bien s'entendre, je pense que ça fait partie du profil maintenant. But uh, this is part of the profile for people who make a career in this. This is what we're selected to live in. Uh, the conditions are outstanding, and we work together. Well, we're very careful to do so. Pay attention to doing that. Demain, vendredi, Thomas Pesquet, vous allez vivre une journée encore plus extraordinaire que Tomorrow, Friday, Thomas Pesquet, you're going to have an even more extraordinary day because you're going to be leaving your capsule, going out into space, and you have uh, quite a lot to do. It's not particularly uh, cold. Actually, it's hot. The movement of the molecules uh, is that uh, we are uh, don't have any molecules uh, that uh, move around, but if we're exposed on the surface to the uh, heat of the sun, the hot surfaces, which can also be cold surfaces on the other side, and that's why we're wearing our space suit, and we're going to be changing batteries that are about uh, as large as a uh, half of a refrigerator. We have one that has to be changed, it'll take about uh, six hours, after we're going to be repairing uh, three small things on the outside, and we're going to be doing uh, what's necessary to get everything done that has to be done. In any case, it is a maneuver that is not without danger. How do you feel uh, about it, Thomas, before leaving uh, this capsule to go into space? Uh, no, I'm not anxious. If we're anxious, uh, if we have an anxious nature, we don't sleep well as an astronaut. But I'm very happy because this, of course, is uh, the dream that I'm living, uh, to be out in a space station. Of course, we're not able to go out in the town to... Uh, have fun, but uh, this is what I've been training for, what I've been selected for, to work here. There's a lot of work for the teams, and so I'm very happy to be here. I have, if everything were to happen between here, that are, we're not able to go out, uh, but to where we're doing everything is necessary to prevent anything that will keep us from doing our work outside. Pauline, uh, Pauline has a question. What do you miss most in your life, uh, Thomas? What I miss most uh, would be, of course, being with my uh, close family and friends, my uh, girlfriend, uh, female companion. Uh, but however, we're in touch with uh, my telephone, my email. Uh, of course, I'm unable to go out uh, and do uh, outdoor sports and to go ski and go up in the mountains. I love the Alps. Uh, I can see the Alps from uh, uh, the space. We can actually see uh, where the uh, ski runs are, but otherwise, uh, life inside the space station is quite agreeable. We have all we need in terms of food. We have everything to uh, we need in order to sleep and to work to fill our days uh, usefully. And so, I feel it is a comfortable life up here. 
Alors rassurez-vous, consolez-vous, il n'y a, a pas beaucoup de neige en ce moment euh, en, en montagne. Well, you speak so, there's not a lot of snow up in the mountains right now. But there are magnificent photographs of this uh, earth that you've been able to take. Do you think that uh, being up there, does that change your view of uh, things, uh, of life and uh, the world in general, Thomas Pesquet? Yes, it certainly changes your point of view, your perspective. I feel rather small when I look at the Earth from space. You feel very small because we uh, are able to see very few uh, human constructions except for towns at night. What we observe primarily is nature. We see South America, there's uh, the endless desert of Africa, there's the sea and the planets, the beauty of the night which shines at night. And this uh, certainly certainly gives us a perspective that we are not the center of the world. Uh, we're only living within, let's say, four meters or so. Uh, this makes us think about the planet even more. Uh, we can see that uh, how beautiful it is. Uh, we uh, have to protect it and make it last uh, as long as we can. And this is something that I felt strongly uh, before the mission, but I feel 100 times as strongly when I return. Another question from Poulpet to Thomas Pesquet. Can you see pollution from uh, outer space? We see it. We see the outlets of rivers that uh, look very uh, dirty, uh, brown. Sometimes we see uh, smoke uh, that uh, are uh, converging into smog, as in the case of Beijing, which is very difficult to um, photograph because of the smog. But over uh, the years, the photographs are uh, showing us that the ice uh, is melting. We see the cuttings in the Amazonian forest. Uh, forest. Uh, we see areas that were green that are becoming increasingly gray up in the mountains, for example. So we are uh, conscious of human activity. This makes us really think uh, that, uh, after all, this is uh, from this formidable space uh, capsule uh, that we've been up in space a long uh, time, and uh, it has enabled us to see the changes in the Earth, and I uh, would like to remain uh, to keep conditions on the Earth as long as possible. Would you like to tell us a, little, a few words about your exit into space, Thomas? You are the, only the fourth Frenchman to be able to experience this. How is this magic for you? It's magic for me because it is the experience, uh, the ultimate flight experience to flight uh, over Earth in a smaller or large plane uh, gives you a uh, flight experience as does uh, falling uh, with, uh, with a parachute, uh, but you're still in a vehicle. However, when you get out of this vehicle in space uh, without a parachute, it's, uh, it's a little bit like a parachutist that never stops his flight. And uh, we ourselves become flying objects, and that is the general idea. We're in space, within the cosmos. We have the emptiness of space just on the other side, the absolute uh, uh, emptiness. It's an unforgettable experience. That's why the astronauts like to go out into space. And of course, the mythology associated with uh, the spacesuit, which is a sort of armor, which reminds you a little bit of the Knights of the Middle Ages medieval era in this uh, extra vehicle or exit or is uh, sort of like a uh, an armed uh, epic in armor a very concrete question we see you floating in the ESS with the computer next to you is it easy to work on the computer when you're floating it's not complicated all of this Yes, there are things that we do every day that uh, we find to be somewhat complicated for us. Uh, these are trivial uh, items uh, such as uh, eating and going to the bathroom, but we have to press with our hands uh, instead of, uh, we have to make sure that when we're working on the keyboard, we put pressure on the keyboard, we don't float off. And so these are things that uh, have to do with everyday life that we encounter in the space center. And I hope that within the next uh, months that we'll be following, that uh, there will be much more to discover.
Thank you, Thomas Pesquet, for having been with us from the Space Center. Uh, take care. Be careful tomorrow. Uh, what can we tell you? Uh, good day. Good night. Uh, it's 8 o'clock at night uh, in the morning uh, where you are. Or it is. But, you know, we're on the UTC hour. And so we're just one day, uh, one hour in delay of uh, the French uh, time, which means that you can be uh, with us, uh, in essence, time-wise, practically uh, at our same time at the space station. Well, Thomas, thank you very much. And uh, Thomas Persky, we wish you a great day. And thank you for telling us about the, your epic journey and experience. And uh, we uh, wish you all the best for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. With pleasure and goodbye. Au revoir. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you, Houston. Thank you, David Bowie. Thank you, everybody.